Have you ever felt like the world was against you, that you couldn't find anything positive in your life, that you were totally alone, that nothing goes right, that it's just not fair? Well, take heart. You're not alone. I want to share my story with you today and let you know why we haven't made any videos this past year and send some positive vibes your way. Hi, I'm Karen Sussman, the founder and director of the Professional Voice Care Center, where our mission is to create or restore excellent voices, both the speaking and the singing voice. Today, I have a story of tragedy, of resilience, of the power of positive thinking, and the importance of a strong support system. Nearly one year ago, we lost our beloved voice program coordinator suddenly to COVID-19. The loss of this kind, efficient, and loyal assistant was devastating, not just because she ran my office and my studio, but because she was my friend and my theater-going buddy for the better part of 10 years. So I found myself with a very busy practice and no one to run it. So the primary reason I haven't made any videos over the last year was because now I had to devote so much time to running my office, interviewing and training candidates for the position, and see all my clients. There have been many sleepless nights in this last year, and as if it couldn't get any tougher, I lost my mom six weeks after my assistant. So what did I do? I mourned. I went through stages of shock and disbelief, and why me, and self-pity. I also thought I could run the business all by myself. No, nobody should try to do that. That was a ridiculous idea. It was time for a much better idea. I realized I had to pick myself up and formulate a plan. So I reached out to my support system, my clients, present and former, some of whom had actually been trained in the past by my late assistant. Many of my clients were out of work singers and actors last year. So they were happy to work, and I was so grateful to have them. We created an in-person staff and a virtual staff, and I got through the worst year of my life. Even though I felt a little nervous calling people out of the blue and sharing my problems, that risk was worth taking. The plan worked. The office was up and running, and I felt more confident. See, when you feel nervous, take that risk anyway, then Remember that positive feeling when you realize that your efforts worked and you achieved your goal. You'll want to remember that feeling when things aren't going your way. To give you strength and resilience when obstacles try to block your way. You can overcome them. When I was at my lowest points, I would suddenly discover a gift my late assistant left me to make things easier. A computerized system to automate all the forms we use. Excel charts, Word documents to make everything easier. My interim staff and I figured out everything needed to create an efficient, contactless office. We can now truly run the office from anywhere, and our clients are thrilled to be able to have virtual sessions whenever they want. Hey, I'm sending out a big thank you to everyone who helped us get back on our feet. I learned to do things that I never thought I could do. Remember, that's how you gain confidence. You didn't think you could do it. You took that risk. You reached for help from the experts around you, and you gained confidence as you succeeded. Look back to where you were. Realize all that you've accomplished since then, and keep that feeling of success in your positivity pocket when you need a lift. I guess it would have been easy to give in to negative thinking. Believe me, I was tempted on many occasions, but I didn't give up. And finally, after several blunders, we now have a great new voice program coordinator who is funny, helpful, and who keeps the place humming. I am one lucky vocologist. And finally, one year later, I'm back to making videos to help more and more people to achieve their choice voice. So, what are the takeaways from all this? 
One, don't give in to negative thinking. Two, formulate a realistic plan with attainable goals. For instance, I will have an assistant trained in four weeks, or my office will be running very smoothly in three months. Three, reach for your support system, friends, family, colleagues, and clients. You'd be amazed at how many people are ready and willing to help you. And four, reach into that positivity pocket whenever those doom and gloom feelings return. You succeeded before. Remember that feeling of resilience and strength, and you'll succeed again for sure. I'm Karen Sussman, sending you a whole bunch of positive vibes. Hope to see you soon with more videos.